I started the music. I started learning the music when I was four and a half. Uh, piano. Um, since then, it was um, one day that my parents took me to a music teacher, and he 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 let me let's say listen to different types of instruments, and instantly I, I liked this instrument. And until now, I mean, after let's say I don't know 16 or 17 years, I don't regret it at all. It's it's getting more and more interesting. Um, the fact that back then, actually, I don't know how it exactly started, but what I know is that um, I think it was something special which grew with me during the time when I was back in Syria. I studied from with twice together, like the school beside the, the, the music institute, which was the piano, of course, and yeah, until I came to Germany and I'm just continuing now the classical music studying here in Barenboim Zaid Academy. Yeah, it's, it's a bit weird with the piano especially because sometimes you feel like it's... Uh, you and the instruments are challenging each other in a way, you know? It's, I mean, the instruments, the, the piano is the one who will give you what you are trying to say or what you are trying to feel or play. But sometimes you feel that it's coming against you in a way. If you and this is also translated to the person who's hearing but how I see the piano actually I always feel that I will not reach the level that I will see the piano and myself as equals I always see this instrument especially um, ahead of me so basically I don't try to satisfy myself by playing the piano I try to satisfy the instrument itself It's a very big debate because in the music especially it's about uh, it's either the programming music or the music you are describing like images colors and everything of course it has all the colors and images but the interesting thing is that when you see for example a painting if you see the red color the second person will see it also red but when you listen to a piece of music you can see it as red I can see it as yellow and another person can see it black it can make me feel let's say um, sad and it can make you feel satisfied in a way so this is a very interesting thing about music and every time you perform a piece it's exactly different from the previous type But in general, music is not separated from politics or what's going on in the society because in every era you find what's happening. I mean, if you get back into the 19th century, which was romantic era of music, you find the way people are clothing and the way people are treating each other and the way that even the economy was, how to, to deal with another in business or whatsoever. It was all creating one image and the music itself, when you listen to it, in a way you find it convenient to that era. 
nowadays we reach the an era of chaos i must say in all over the world so i think con I, i'm not saying that contemporary music is uh, chaotic music but it's suitable for now because we don't know as human beings where are we heading to on, on our human side or on the society side or any other kind of political life or daily basis. So this is why you find it really random. Also painting, art, everything. Mm -hmm. 